Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbit of Data, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Package Rush, uh, which is a quite interesting logistics-oriented uh, style delivery game. Let's jump into things and see what we've got going on. Um, now, one of, this, uh, one of the similarities to this game, uh, in terms of both visual style and also, I guess, the way that it kind of plays, it's very, very similar to, you know, like Mini Metro or uh, Mini Motorways uh, games, which I really, really, really enjoyed. Anyway, uh, as ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening, and I dare say that you'll probably get the hang of things pretty darned quickly. So, um, what we're able to do is we're able to draw delivery routes. Now, very, very simple. Uh, we need to try and optimize for, uh, for delivery routes. We're going to get, you know, we're going to get a whole bunch of a whole bunch of packages that we're going to need to deliver over the course of any given day, week, whatever the time frame is. Uh, we need to try and hit this target of 20. We've got one delivery van at the moment, um, and definitely I would say there's going to be um, there's going to be a variety of upgrades that we can use to uh, to try and wrestle control uh, from the. Uh, from the package barons. Anyway, uh, let's pause and see what we've got going on here. So yeah, we've got half the timer away over over yonder. Um, we need to basically do circuits. So that's kind of like the limiting factor. I mean, we can sort of go any way we want. We cannot retrace our steps. We can't pass through the same street twice. Uh, we need to constantly be completing circuits, and we just need to make sure that we get the deliveries done before the timer is up. It's quite literally that simple. However, this is where things get uh, a little bit more complicated, and that is at the end of the week. Now, not all of the options are currently available in the game, uh, but we got a couple. We got a couple different ones, um, and some can be used in perpetuity, and some can be used one time. Uh, the additional route, for example, uh, can be used in perpetuity. Extra time. Um, I think it's just a one-time use. Uh, complete the route, delivers all package on our currently selected route. We're going to take the additional route because it's, I mean, it's cool and it's flippin' awesome. And it's going to allow us to draw out... Uh, actually, if I... There we go. Get it applied. You see we've got our second, our second truck. And we'll try and do something like... Try and do something like that. So now you can see, if I just tell these trucks to go uh, round the loop an infinite number of times, uh, you can see that we are hopefully going to be able to satisfy all of the demands of the city and um, we should be able to do that reasonably quickly with two trucks which I'm not too displeased about look at that and literally as soon as they come up we should be fine now I would like to um, let's turn that off turn that off let's change this route ever so slightly just so that we cover absolutely every single house because there was one house that I don't think was in the loop but now that should be sorted and we'll make sure that that uh, that vehicle loops forever brilliant very very happy with that um I don't really think that we're gonna have any issues to be honest oh what do we want car acceleration doubles car speed for 10 seconds um I think I might take five seconds to the orders yeah I mean at the moment we're like pretty close to to hitting um oh there we go fantastic we've moved to a new city um, we've got 80 packages to do, which, to be honest, is probably okay. Probably okay for now. We're gonna have to do... We're gonna have to get our upgrades back, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, we got a second depot this time, which is definitely worth noting. Definitely worth noting. Let's go into multiple times speed, or fast times speed. Um, we do still have our upgrade. We do still have our upgrade here, so that is absolutely noteworthy. Maybe I shouldn't have burned my, um, my early roots. Right, the car is not going to loop, so it's going to get back to the depot. That's fine. That's great. Let's take a pause and think about the best way to go about doing things. I mean... Something like this. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Again, I mean, not the most, you know, stunningly complex strategy games uh, of all time. Also, I will take an additional route, actually. Also, there's something going on over here. I think we need to try and link up... We need to try and link up over there. Let's do just like one big loop. Sure. One big loop. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on at this house here. Uh, I don't think that we're going to have any issues, but it's certainly going to going to help to have two trucks uh, going around the same route. That's going to be very, very handy indeed. Brilliant. Yeah, the trucks colliding is, uh, is a little bit less than ideal. It's going to happen. Oh, it's not going to happen again. Marvelous. Brilliant. Okay, well, this is all looking pretty darn good. Now, occasionally, there's stuff like roadworks, uh, which pop up 
that's fine. Uh, I'll take yet another additional route, and also we need to make sure that this route is a permanent route. I think I'll just... Is that really all that I care about? Yeah, that's a permanent route. That's a permanent route. Sure, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. I don't really feel the need to get an additional route. Um, the roadworks, quite simply, are solved literally by just getting, literally just by getting a, a truck in the uh, in the vague sort of proximity, uh, which is pretty, which is pretty good. House over here. Oh wow, we got a free, we got a free, absolutely free uh, extra, extra truck. Well, how nice is that? So um, I'm trying to avoid collision for the most part. In general, that seems to be a pretty good policy. Uh, let's go around here, sure. And then let's get that one going around forever as well. Okay, so we've got like a pretty good network, I would say. I'm reasonably happy with how things are. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of sort of odd, yeah, conflict, which I'm really not a huge fan of, obviously, because it's gonna take ages to get rectified. But for the most part, I think it's gonna do, I think it's gonna do everything that we needed to do, and I think it's going to sort things out. Uh, right, add five seconds to all orders. I will take that, just in case. I will, I will deploy, I will deploy it. Yeah, that's going to be, like, unbelievably irritating. Is there any way that we can perhaps reverse the flow? We could reverse the flow of all of these routes, so that they're all going in the same direction. That might be something that I honestly want to do. Yeah, the green route is really the one that is sort of most troubling to me at the moment. Um, yeah, it's, that's, it's a little troubling, but to be fair, uh, we've got the card. We've got the card that allows us to fix the roadworks. We've got the card that allows us to add extra time. I mean, if we need to add extra time, then we'll add extra time. Uh, swap all your upgrades to random ones. I mean, sure, let's take that. That's like the, that's the chaos. That's the chaos card. I think that there is plenty of time for this green, for this green van to get, uh, to get back here. But then again, maybe not. I guess we'll see. I can always add time if we need to. There we go. And there we go. Just in time. Literally just in time. Oof, that was a little that was a little touch and go for a second there. We got a little acceleration boost. Beautiful, which slams everybody into each other. That's fine. Yeah, these these houses with the little uh with the little question marks above them. Uh, I'll take the extra route, and I'm going to start holding on until the next uh, sort of upgrade here. Really? Did you have to collide with one another? That's frustrating. Yeah, so clearly having having the green truck doing the loop around the entirety of the map, I think is bad. I think that is bad. The good news is, is that when a truck stops basically between the two... Uh, between the two, between two houses that both need packages delivered, then, uh, then then we can deliver both at the same time. That's really really nice, and we're about to get, if I'm not mistaken, we are about to get very very shortly indeed our 80th package, which is going to get us over the line, which is marvelous. Okay, uh, third depot is slightly more logistically complex, but the good news is is that we've got two trucks, and we got a third route that we can use pretty much whenever we need to. Now. Ideally, I would kind of like to have, I'd kind of like to have a little system here in place where, where we kind of try and segment in as much as we possibly can. We try and segment the, actually this needs to go the other way. Yeah. Can I take this back? Let's go. Oh, I hate that. I really hate that. You know what? Just just do a route there. That's fine. Let's get let's get an extra route in over here. Again, I'm trying to sort of embody those principles that I've talked about earlier on. And those are the principles of everything going in the same direction so as to try and avoid collision. Now, I think I think that that is going to allow us to do everything. I'm a little bit, yet again, concerned at how long the green route actually is. That's not so good. That's not so good. Uh, let's take that. Sure. Yeah, not over the moon about how long the green route is, but that's okay. We're going to get ready to reverse the flow here, so we're going to do... this. 
again, that doesn't... That doesn't account for that over there. Uh, you know what? Oh, I can't, I can't change it now. The truck is, the truck is out of the metaphorical bag. Anyway, the good news is, is that I'm mostly happy with the direction, with the direction that everything is taking. Um, let's put everything on, let's put everything on perpetual, perpetual travel. Uh, there's probably going to be another crash here. Yep. Yep. Well, that is really, really annoying, isn't it? Yeah, yet again. Yet again. Okay, I'm going to allow it just to sort of, just to go. Oh, another crash. Really? Are you having a giggle here? Well, we got an upgrade, which is nice. But there's going to be, there's not going to be another crash there. That's good. Okay. Additional route. I'm going to take the additional route. I think that's, I think that's what matters. We need to do 180 things here. I mean, this red, this red, this red route is just absolutely not working. Let that expire. Let the green route expire as well. And then let the yellow route expire too. In fact, to be honest, the yellow route is the only route that we haven't actually had any difficulty with. So why don't we, why don't we leave that one on its current sort of run? Right. We got an upgrade because we stopped next to a house. That's fine. Okay, right, so, the red route. The red route indeed. The red route indeed. Where's the green truck? The green truck's there, okay. That's fine. I just don't, I just don't like it. I just don't like it at all. Maybe that? Is that really better? I mean, again, the, the sort of strain that we're placing on the the green route is going to be huge. And also, of course, the flipping yellow truck decides to, to conflict on this uh, on this very specific occasion. Going to happen yet again. Beautiful. Love to see it. But at least we're getting some packages delivered there. Okay, nice. Nice. Definitely nicer than anything. Definitely nicer than anything that we've had before, but I'm still not exactly over the moon about it. Right, so am I happy with this route? Happy is a very strong phrase. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll change my design philosophy. Maybe I do want trucks coming up against each other, because then they're only going to hit once, as opposed to, like, you know, hitting each hitting into each other, like, multiple times over the course of any given any given run. I'll take an additional route. I think that we can be, I think that we can be fairly content with the way that things are at the moment. This is absolutely going to be awful. There's going to be yet another collision between, it's literally only ever, it's literally only ever green and, uh, green and red. But unless we have, like, exclusive routes, then I would anticipate that happening uh, a little bit more. Uh, right, the green route did actually expire, which is perhaps a good opportunity to fix things up. Um... Yeah, again, interesting, interesting sort of concept here. Interesting concept. We can choose to either go up here or down here. I mean, I don't really want to go down, up or down either. That's useless. I actually don't hate that, you know? The the one problem is this, is this route over here. Uh, let's, let's let the yellow expire. And then we will, and then we will do, and we will do something here. Wow, we've reached the end of the demo. Literally, literally that quick. Okay, well, um, well, that is what it is. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's a short video. Um, but there we go. We managed to get to 100. I like it. It's a lovely little, it's a lovely little thing. I mean, it's not exactly the most complex uh, game in the entire world, is it? But it's a lovely little logistics game. And, you know, I'm a real sucker for Mini Metro. Uh, and, um, uh, Mini, Mini Motorways. So, you know what? I will, I will always play any transport game that comes out that is even even slightly like that. Uh, but hey-ho, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. This has been Package Rush. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, I'll see you next time. Bye.